one of the most important outcomes of the Dan's raid for my father was the loss of life. Uh, as I think I have mentioned, he was desolated, absolutely desolated by that. He never got over it. Um, he, I have to say also, I will mention no names, that there were various people uh, at the top of the hierarchies who did not think he should have an inventor's award and actually stopped it. That was fought for by one or two other people. So he did get an inventor's award of £10,000, which sounds nothing these days, but of course in 1944 it was quite a considerable sum of money. Uh, he said, uh, my father said, I will not touch the money, that is blood money. Um, he has a little quote from the Bible which um, he actually puts in his, uh, in his answer to, to, the, um, you know, to the offer. Um, but he wouldn't take it. But somebody, I don't know who, may have suggested to him that he could take it and do something, give it to charity. And so that's what he did. He, he uh, put it into a scholarship fund, bursary fund, uh, for children of, at the time, it was supposed to be uh, RAF serving personnel killed uh, in service, uh, to go to Christ Hospital, everything paid for, um, well, for the duration of their school career, really. Um, the RAF Benevolent Fund, uh, which is um, a wonderful charitable institution and I uh, have a great admiration for it and wish it very well indeed. They pitched in, I think, the same amount of money uh, into this bursary. So the actually RAF Foundation as scholarships at Christ's Hospital are funded by the, the Wallace input and the RAF Benevolent input.